Upon one summer's morning, one summer's morning, I completed it straight down by the walls of rock. My heart is pierced by Cupid, by Cupid, a stain on this There is nothing can console me so my job is Hello everyone, so I'm gonna start off by blocking my brows with a glue stick and while we wait for that to dry, I'm gonna conceal any flaws I have on my face just to make it less annoying for y'all to watch. Uh, going in with a second coat just to make sure everything stays in place and when that's dry, we are going to set it with baby powder. Next, I'm going in with a concealer just to cover up any darkness from the brows that I have. And since it's cream, we are going to set it with some more baby powder and just brush it out. Now we're going in with a little bit of a DIY recipe for the scar wax that I am using. I am mixing Vaseline and corn flour for this. You just want to eyeball the measurements and mix it all together. If the if the mixture is too dry, just add more Vaseline and if it's too like sticky, just add more flour make sure it ends up feeling like plasticine it doesn't stick to your skin and yep just add some foundation to add color to it mix it all together And you're dead. Okay, so back to my ugly face. Okay, now we're just gonna blend in the um, wax that we have to our face using a sculpting tool. What you want to do is create a long like thing and just roll it into a long thing and just like put it on your face. I find it easier for you to outline the placement of the gills that you want like I'm doing right now add some shape into it just to make it look more realistic and make sure to blend it into your skin as properly as you can and as seamlessly as you can Now I'm using the sculpting tool that I bought from Popular just to add more texture into it just to make it blend better into the skin. I am doing this look based off my based on my drawing that I did a few years back. Make sure to blend it out properly and make those edges a little bit ragged just to add more just to make it more organic. Make it look more organic. Now I'm just gluing the sides of my hair just so that I have a bigger space to paint on. 
and now I'm going in with the liquid latex to just put just to set the scar wax in place and so that it's easier for me to paint it on later and you know just so that the scar wax retains its shape and it's fixed to the skin and now I'm going in with a cream concealer and a mint green shade I can just use face paint for this but I chose this because it has the right color that I want you can just go with any color you want just gonna apply it in a stippling motion down to my neck and to my body and I'm going in with a second coat just to make it more opaque especially in, on the gills side just using a bigger brush to cover up the bigger parts Don't forget it. Don't forget to set it with powder after you're done, because this is cream, so we don't want it to move. And, you know, this actually serves no purpose to my look, but you know, I just like to put things on my head. Now I'm going in with a pinkish brown shade, just to create shadow on the skin, especially where the gills are and around the lips as well because so we're gonna be we're gonna do like an ombre kind of thing with the lips later on I'm going in with a greenish color greenish blueish color sorry um around the eye and we are going to create a sort of like a cut crease and I'm just going to I'm going with the blue all over the where the gills are just to create more depth and dimension and you know color like I said we are going back in with the eyes we're gonna create a cut crease sort of like a cut crease using concealer to really cut to really define that crease line that new crease line that we just made and like I said I like putting things on my head going in with a darker color just on the outer corner like we just want to keep it tight this adds more definition and, and depth to the crease gonna blend that out I'm using a gel liner to create a widow's peak and really defining that line at the end of your eyelids and I'm going in on the other parts of the face as well where it needs to have like darker shadows like the nostrils and the inner corners of the gills just to create more texture and dimension that's actually the key to this look is to create more more texture going in with the pink 
and just going around the face at the ends of the gills just to make it more flash toned ish just add more life to it Just blending everything on the eyes, on the lips. Now I'm going in with the scales. I'm using, you know, this. I don't know what this is. I just cut it off. And yeah, just add shadow onto it. You can use any color you want. Whatever you want your mermaid to be. I'm using, I'm using purple, pink, blue, like I think all the colors because like this is a really rainbowy, corally looking mermaid. So yeah. Oh my god, voiceover is so hard. This is so hard. Okay, going in with the pink. Just to add more details to the face and colors, you know. Here I'm trying to create like green scales but it did not show up. So we're going back in with the pink to make it more vibrant. The lips as well. You see how ombre it looks now? Going in on the body and I am just going like everywhere. And shout out to Iman for helping me. Mm. Set more pink to the outer corners of the gills to make it look more flashy like before. And now, I'm trying to go in again with the green, which I failed again. So... And I am using, ha, huh, this punch thingy that you always get in your brush set. And I just pack the eyeshadow on and just pat it on the face. It sort of looks legit. Going in with like a violet-ish color for the outer corners of the face. It's also important to make the um, sort of smaller as you go towards the inner parts of your face. Because you don't want it to be messy. Now I'm using NYX Vivid Brights Vivid Liner and Vivid Sapphire. That's a lot of vivid. Yeah, I'm just creating dots all over the face just to pull everything together, just to make it look more cohesive. If that's a word. If that's the right word to use here. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I look like I have freckles. Purple freckles. So like yeah, I'm going in on the body body as well. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. This is the final look. Shout out to Iman again. Thank you for holding the lights. The end.